Hi my beautiful people, TJ Isaacs here. Welcome or welcome back. So we are in the season of love. <laughs> and um, I thought I'll come out with a few looks for Valentine's Day. Um, this is a very bubblegum pink Barbie-esque look. And I am loving it. Oh my goodness. I think this is so pretty so beautiful you know i just wanted like a nice soft glam look on the eyes and i also wanted to pair it with a pink lip this time oh my god guys i'm not wearing a nude lipstick today clap for me <laughs> so yes um i thought of pairing it with a nice bubblegum pink lip and gave me some nice rosy cheeks as well and um, yeah I just wanted to do something fun something different and um, yes so if you like this look make sure to hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell so you know when I upload and also like share and leave me a comment down below so without any further ado let's just get into this gorgeous beautiful Barbie look. Mm. Yes. So we're going to start off with my primer. I'm using the Pat McGrath primer and I just want to see how I feel about it because with primer I guess you have to use it a couple of times before you can really get to know how you feel. It's like a moisturizer very hydrating and I'm just pressing it into my skin so who's excited for Valentine's Day I know this year we can't really do much like you know especially in London so it's gonna be like a stay at home dinner and um, kind of night for a lot of people so I'm just letting that sit sink into my skin for a bit so today I'm gonna be using mixing two foundations I'm gonna use my Pat McGrath foundation and also my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation so I'm just mixing those two in because Pat McGrath is very lightweight and I'm just using the Anastasia for a little bit more coverage. So I'm gonna take about two pumps from Pat McGrath and then a pump from Anastasia. I'm just gonna mix those together. Just gonna place that on my face. Oh, that is looking nice and flawless. Mixing those two actually gave me a nice combo. Ooh. And because they're both like hydrating foundations, it was just perfect to give me that nice skin-like finish, that nice dewy finish, because like I always say, I have dry skin. So this is good for my dry skin. I'm not putting anything on my nose. I'm now going in with my Pat McGrath Labs concealer. I'm in the shade LM13.
okay now I am going to contour I'm gonna do cream contour today and I'm using Judas Place stick foundation in Cameroon it just looks like that and I'm just gonna contour with this Just patting it in. snatch that double chin <laughs> so that's good okay so now all the creams are done I'm going to set everything with powder so for my under eyes I'm using Pat McGrath blurring under eye powder in medium so I'm just setting everywhere I highlighted with the blurring powder so everywhere I place the lighter concealer I'm just going to use this powder to set that and especially my top lip and my smile lines you do not want that moving or creasing while you are on your little date make sure you set that in good cool now to set the rest of my face i'm using my nabla close-up press powder and um, this is in the shade dark so I'm just going to set the rest of my face just where I didn't put that blurring powder. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer to set where I contoured with the darker foundation. This is just to set that liquid foundation stick and to reinforce the contour. Beautiful. So for my blush today, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Killer What Duo in Ginger Binge and Muscrow Mill. This is what it looks like a nice pinky bronze. I'm just dipping into both. I'm really packing on the blush because blush is one of the first things to fade from your face. So I'm really packing it on. I want that baby doll kind of look for today. Yes, I know. Mm pretty so for highlight i'm going for a subtle highlight i'm using my nabla skin glazing highlighter in the shade privilege and it's just like this and yep i'm just gonna do a light dusting of highlight on the nose just on my forehead Cupid's bow. Chin. And for my cheeks, I'm using a fluffier brush. So this is my face done. I'm just gonna pop off camera and do my eyebrows and I'll be right back with you. So I'm back with my eyebrows done and I have primed my eyes. So let's get ready for the eyeshadow look. I'm thinking of doing like a nice soft glam pink look 
And with that said, I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place, the Sweet Pinks palette, the mini one. It comes with gorgeous pink colors. Yeah, so this is the palette we're gonna be playing from today. And like I said, we're gonna be doing a soft glam look. So I'm gonna be starting off with the lightest pink at the bottom. And I'm just going to place that in my crease area. So I'm just buffing this out into the crease very lightly, just as my transition colour. So next I'm going to go in with this hot pink. And I'm just gonna focus that right at the outer V corner. Just gonna take a denser brush, just very softly, just placing it in the outer V. And I'm just feathering it into the lid slightly. So for the lid, I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury um, Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder in medium. It just looks like this. So it's just like a beige pale powder and I'm just going to put that all over my lids. Just packing it on to get the full intensity that I want. And that is basically it for the eyes. Now I'm just gonna put um, black eyeliner in my waterline. And I'm using the Days of Colors eyeliner in caviar, just like this. It's a black eyeliner pencil. I'm just gonna fill in my waterline. I think I'm just gonna do it halfway. So I'm not gonna bring it all the way in. Not putting it all the way in, it's not gonna close off my eyes to make it look small but it's going to appear a lot bigger because I didn't put it all the way in. I'm going to go back with that hot pink shade just on the outer corner. I think I'm going to go in with a bit of the magenta colour just to deepen it a bit more. Now I'm going to line my lips with the Juvia's Place Lux Liner in Polar, very lightly. And I'm going to be using MAC lipstick and the colour is Fusion Pink, it's a satin lipstick and it's pink, a nice bubblegum pink. And I'm just going to lighten it up a little bit with LA Girl Glazed Lip Paint. Mm hmm <laughs> So yeah, this is my Valentine's Day look, a very nice soft glam pink Barbie-esque kind of look. So, you know, I just wanted everything nice and girly and pink, a nice um, slick back hair, very straight, blunt cut, a nice cute dress.
so this is the look guys and um i hope you liked it if you did please subscribe give it a like and share leave me a comment down below also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know when i upload and um thanks for hanging out with me today and i hope you learned something new and um yes i will see you in my next one bye, -bye.